Uh, I rise today to discuss the agreement that has been reached between leaders in the Senate and the House, Republicans and Democrats, and the President of the United States with respect to an extension of the debt limit and certain deficit reduction steps to be taken in conjunction uh, with that action. Mr. President, I want to remind colleagues that if we fail to act, most economists believe we would face an interest rate spike. And for every one percentage point increase in interest rates, we would add $1.3 trillion to deficits and debt over 10 years. Mr. President, if there was only a 200 basis point increase, that would wipe out all of the deficit reduction that is in this package. So, Colleagues need to keep in mind uh, the consequences of our actions and how critically important it is to prevent that interest rate spike. I think all of us know that our current status finds us borrowing 40 cents of every dollar that we spend. In fact, we are in a condition in which the United States is borrowing more than we have ever borrowed before as a share of our national income. And the Congressional Budget Office, nonpartisan, has told us that the long-term outlook is even more sober. That we have a debt held by the public that is about 70 percent now, or right here, debt held by the public about 70 percent. Our gross debt is actually approaching 100 percent. But our publicly held debt, that is debt held by the public, not counting what we owe to trust funds like Social Security is about 70 percent. But look where we're headed if we stay on our current course. The Congressional Budget Office tells us by 2037 our publicly held debt will be 200 percent of our gross domestic product if we fail to act. And how did we get in this circumstance? Well, Mr. President, this says it very clearly and very well. The red line is the spending line of the United States. The green line is the revenue line going back 60 years. And what we can see is the red line, the spending line, is the highest it's ever been. 24 percent of gross domestic product, federal spending. The revenue line is the lowest it's ever been in that period. The lowest it's been in 60 years. Some of our fr friends say on the other side, we just have a spending problem. They've got it half right. We do have a spending problem. Spending is almost the highest it's been in 60 years. But you know what? We've also got a revenue problem. Because revenue is the lowest it's been in 60 years as a share of our national income. That's a fact. So, Mr. President, we've got to work both sides of this equation.